السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ الحمد للہ الحمد للہ نحمد ونستعین ونستغفر ونؤمن به ونتوکل علیہ ونعوذ باللہ من شرور انفسنا ومن سیئات اعمالنا من یہدی اللہ من یہدی اللہ فلا مضل له ومن یضلله فلا ہادی له ونشہد واللہ الہ الا اللہ وحده لا شریک له ونشہد ون سیدنا ونبینا ومولانا محمد عبده ورسوله صلى الله تعالى على خير خلقه محمد وآله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم قل اعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غاسق اذا وقب ومن شر نفاثات في العقد ومن شر حاسد إذا حسد صدق الله مولانا العظيم وصدق رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين Respected elders, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam According to the lunar calendar Today is 15th of Jamadi ul and the year is 1445 Hijri. And according to the solar calendar, today is 29th of December and year is 20, 2023. 2023 about two Fridays inshallah I'll be finishing Surah Nas today I will finish the tafsir of Surah Al-Falaq And in two Fridays, I will finish Surah Al-Nas. And we will have those two Fridays in Jamadi Al-Ukhra. And there are only two days left in having a new year, a solar, according to solar calendar. It may be in our practice. The solar calendar is, is need. Sometimes whatever is in use becomes our need because we depend on it so much that we leave our own values. When we didn't have uh, 
mobile phone we used to memorize the numbers you say fala you will say his number is this but when we have got mobile in use we don't need to memorize it if your mobile is gone probably oxygen is cut off i went to brisbane before i went there i asked him i said would you be providing some oxygen for me he said he said are you all right molana is your health okay i said i'm talking about wifi he said oh okay this is the need similarly when we are going according to the solar calendar it is every day use so anyway two days for new year a muslim should always wish every muslim every time they meet and they see off they wish them well every time we see some we say allah hafiz or take care whatever all those greeting and seeing off words they are in practice may allah give us new year with the good news inshallah as per our iman the strength of our iman and our practice about islam may allah give us tawfiq on the first friday of jumadul ukhra i recited two ayats of surah al falaq qul a'udhu bi rabbil falaq min sharri ma khalaq and i talked about them and today inshallah we will finish this surah this surah they were revealed all together both of them 11 verses and just to give you a catch up it is called muawwazatain in which we seek the for uh, refuge of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the shan al nuzul the waqia of the revelation was that prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was done magic upon when yahud did the magic on prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked him to say qul a'udhu bi rabbil falaq min sharri ma khalaq all those 11 verses he recited and on every ayat he opened one knot which was done the magic on anyway when he recited he was free from all that magic and he his health became good min sharri ma khalaq i talked about that everything which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created we ask refuge of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the sharr of each and everything as i said that there are three kind of makhluq allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created one makhluq is only khair no sharr and that is angels and anbiya ikram alayhi salatu was salam and the others are only sharr no khair that's iblis shaitan and these are they have got sharr no khair and the third makhluq is everything allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created insan it has got sharr 
and it has got khair. It is the murakkab and the composition of both shar and khair. We are asking for the refuge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the shar of everything you create. Min sharri ma khalaq. May it be in any inconvenience given by insan, any inconvenience given by any animal, any inconvenience given by any kind of beast or whatever. Hasharatul ard. We, we seek for the refuge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Apart from this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned three things especially. See, min sharri ma khalaq, whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created, we seek the refuge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the sharr of everything. But especially Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned three things. فَرْمَيَا كَيْوَ مِنْ شَرِّ غَاسِقٍ إِذَا وَقَبْ When the darkness Ya Allah, we seek refuge of yours from the darkness when it overspreads. غَاسِقٍ إِذَا وَقَبْ And that is the time. Usually all those magicians, you know, when they do magic and when they do some amaliyat shaitan, they do all of them in the darkness. They are most of the, they meet shaitan in the darkness. means, Ya Allah, we seek your refuge from the darkness when it overspreads. That means that time is very crucial, especially when those magicians and those Amal Shaitan are in pro progress. And what we think darkness is, only we think that if the sun sets, the darkness starts. There are so many darkness we know nowadays. See, one is apparent darkness which with the sun sets and the darkness starts. The other one is darkness of thoughts. Everything you see, if you look at the dictionary and the meaning of darkness, what will you get? You will get oppression, violence. These all shaitani amal. Everything what goes on in the for example, Fisko Fujur and every masia, every sin we do, that is darkness. Darkness of light and darkness of thoughts. What we do, every shar. We, we say like aqaid, some aqaid are getting corrupted, that's darkness. Hukum maduli, not obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala order, that is darkness. And there is one, as I said, apparent darkness and the other one is the darkness of Aqaid. Every time we come to this stage, we should ask refuge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, whenever you come in darkness, just call me. Hadrat Yunus alayhi salam, everyone probably knows that he was in the, in the fish stomach he was for a long time. But what did he do? Parmayake fanada fi zulumati Allah ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu min zalimin. He called Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
in the darkness of fish see what happened can you imagine someone is in the fish what would it be there just think of a smell it is so easy to say that in the fish but just imagine what kind of situation he would have been and in that situation he is calling allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as soon as he called allah subhanahu wa ta'ala farmaya ke fastajabna lahu wa najjaynahu min al-gham allah subhanahu wa ta'ala release him from there this is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is darkness every time we come into a darkness or in the situation like that we should call allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we should ask the refuge of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala see from the shaitan allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would have said fight with it no allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said say a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem ask my refuge don't fight because whatever we can fight with yes but we cannot fight with we should ask allah's help we should ask allah's refuge what we do if anything happens we sit down commentary and our analysis and what not you know we just discuss and in even in discussion we are trying to show off that look how much knowledge i have at the present of the present situation this is what we do nobody looks and nobody even cares whether he should call allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or not whatever the situation everywhere in the world going on how many of us apart from that procession and this and that everything how many of us wake up at night and just sit there half an hour and pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we should this is what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given that every time allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves us to ask him for anything but we are the one who are going away the darkness of kufr darkness of shirk fisq of fujur and all those masiyat and sins they are even terrorism they are all darkness so ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's refuge min sharri ghasiqin idha waqab and next thing allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said min sharri nafasati fil uqad because these magicians usually even now they usually tie up knots they take a string and every time they do some amal and blow it and then tie a knot that's how they do magic some people if they say i have heard some people saying i don't believe in magic allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling you in quran e kareem that prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was done magic upon and by this surah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us how to get rid of it and how to get ease from this min sharr al nafasati fil uqad all those knots and i seek refuge from all those who blow something on the knots and then they do the magic all these they are taught by shaitan and that's what they do kill someone make someone any kind of loss they can do it is just on and on somebody went to one country i wouldn't name it he traveled from one end to the other and all those chalking on the wall he read and he said that it looks like most of the population is involved in magic here most of the advertisement is about 
amaliyat i can do this i can make boy and girl meet i can make their love ha you know very effective this is all shaitan so min sharr an nafasat fil waqt all those sharr of those who are tying up knots and doing their amal and then lastly allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said wa min sharri hasidin iza hasad with those who are envious and their envy we seek refuge of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because this i tell you it is those magician which we are talking about they do it in hasad hasad what is hasad hasad is if someone got promoted by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for he has got some more money for example so i don't want him to have money whether i get it or not no he shouldn't have it that's hasad there is one thing rash which is okay somebody has got money ya allah i should have money too ya allah give me money as you have given to him that's okay but hasad no he has got big house he should not have it whether i have it or not he should not have it that's hasad and when hasad comes Imam Ghazali rahmatullahi alayhi he said every time hasad takes place in your heart it is obvious it comes but always remember to fight it how just praise him whoever you think that he has got more money praise him pray for him ya allah give him more money and he is so nice tell people about his qualities because what happens in hasad in hasad people go and talk about against him so that he is less popular and somehow by hook or crook he should be somehow he should get loss loss of fame loss of wealth any kind of loss he should have this is hasad so allah subhanahu wa taala said when the hasad ya allah i seek refuge from the hasad of those hasidin when they do hasad so this is the last like there are healthy people someone sees and he says oh, look at his health mashallah they don't say mashallah they say how did he get it he should not have it inside the story is that he should not have it so this is hasad your health your wealth everything you have fame some people have got so much hasad that they they come to do the magic on someone and get him either someone has got good voice for example and they did hasad and somehow that person lost the voice this is kind of hasad hasad is so bad so always remember that seek refuge from the hasad from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so this is the surah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given every time you come in any kind of problem or any sickness or any kind of calamity just say that ya allah i seek refuge and say qul a'udhu bi rabbil falaq min sharri ma khalaq surah al falaq and surah an nas just make it a practice that every day you recite these two surah and you seek you know sincerely ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's refuge help and from all those calamities from all sickness or from anything you have just seek at the help of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may allah give us tawfeeq may uh, and also we will we will talk about surah an-nas in coming to fridays inshallah may allah give us tawfeeq wa akhiru da'wana anil hamdulillahi rabbil alamin